What it do? Welcome to the Bro Palace. My name is Alan from Bro Brain, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the pre-workout. Uh, the workout today is gonna to be, I'm gonna be running first, and then I'm gonna be working out back. The reason I'm doing that is because I want my workouts to be longer, because I've been, typically I like to split workouts, right? Cardio and then uh, lifting weights right after, but I found that because I've been so busy, it's hard for me to get both workouts in whenever I split them up. So. This is kind of because 75 hard, but I'm not doing 75 hard, so I'm just gonna just knock them out first. So we get a lot of people that wonder as far as like, is our supplements good to go and shit? Like, should do you need to take supplements and all that stuff? And the reality is that you don't, but I'm just gonna show you, but I do, <laughs> you know? And, and I don't, do I have to? I, it's like the same thing, same thing as cannabis and shoes and clothes, you know, and, and having a home gym and, and driving, a different car. You don't have to do it, but it sure as sure shit fucking helps. Yeah, I have some water. So I'm gonna be talking to you about the psychology as to what goes into the bro the bro brain that decides what do we actually am I gonna take. This this time just me. Come on. I gotta have to go get a funnel. <laughs> Whenever I work out back these workouts are longer typically and if you think of it legs the biggest your biggest muscle group is your legs your second biggest muscle group is your back therefore i like to take bcaa's when i do back because i feel that i need it so so i could finish the workout stronger bro signs as i stated i'm going to be running first so i'm actually going to smoke a little bit some of those item nine labs uh, they hooked me up with the pod so i get my mind right Next, this I've been taking this uh, every day for the past two weeks. We discussed this on the Bro Brain podcast, and it's a mushroom superfood that I found on TikTok. So I do about a scoop of this. This is about so the serving is half a tablespoon. So just like a good husband, I took one of uh, the scoopers from the kitchen without asking. Hopefully, nobody's looking for it. Following this. I like to do a scoop of amino energy. I've already taken a caffeine pill about two hours ago, about 150 milligrams. That's one of the things that I do track. I try not to consume over 400 milligrams of caffeine in a day, which is not, it's not that much. One scoop of this, this typically, the serving size of this is two scoops, so, but I'm only gonna do one. Another thing that I wanna mention is that I, I do like to use quite a bit of water specifically on days that I'm going to be like leg days or typically back days. My pre-workout consumption is one of like a bigger, it's in a bigger water bottle because I just want to drink more water overall, right? Also, yeah, remember I'm going to be running. I'm not just going to be walking, I'm going to be running. So this will like hydrate me and also carry me through the run and get me ready. So it's like, I think of it as, you know, running, you warm up, and then eventually you want, once you start sweating, you're actually warm, that's when the pre-workout starts kicking in, because it takes 30 minutes, you know what I mean? Like, if you, if you play a 30 minute window, uh, this is kind of the, what I like, just, what I like to do, man, I don't know, fuck. Like, this is the way it works. Um, following, we're gonna do some beta alanine. Now, this is gonna come into effect whenever we're actually training back, because I think that the extra squeeze that you get from, the, the beta alanine, you know, if you think about consciousness and beta alanine, is, it makes you connect your consciousness to your skin almost, you know? So I like to feel my my back contracting um, and beta alanine really aids with the feeling, plus add the feeling of cannabis in there. So I do like to take on, on back days and probably arm days, I like to take a natural scoop of beta alanine. And here, I'll, I'll tell you why I only have a scoop. Next, I'm gonna take half a scoop. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take half a scoop of Machine Fuel 2 to 1 1 BCAAs. And the reason why I'm only gonna take, the reason why I'm taking a scoop is the same psychology behind why I'm taking the amino energy. However, this is unflavored, and I would take two servings of this. I would take a full serving, but this has caffeine. 
So it's like my BC, this is together. This will be my complete servant of BCAs for the back day. If I wasn't running, I don't think I would be taking the, cap, the amino energy. I think I would just stick with the machine fuel if I wasn't running. But because I'm running, I'm doing just a little bit of caffeine. All right, and lastly, <clears throat> I'm gonna do half a scoop of Ruckus pre-workout. Now, this is kind of to top it all off. I don't really, I don't wanna say that I do a half scoop even. I just do a probably like, what? I do about half a scoop, probably less though than half a scoop. I don't wanna do more than half a scoop. I wanna do under half. And to be honest, I do this because it's pre-workout and I have to have some pre-workout if I'm gonna lift. It's just psychology, you know? This is like a fucking time bomb. Like you have to lift weights in 30 minutes when you take this. This is the way I look at it. So it means that my workout has to be under 30 minutes. All right. And I do half a scoop because I've done, I did half a scoop of this caffeine thing and I already took a caffeine pill, like I said earlier in the morning. <clears throat> and then you shake it like yay. And this is, this right here would be my back pre-workout for this running day slash back day. And there you have it. Here's the bro science of back day pre-workout brought to you 100% by Bro Brain. Thank you.